let's learn how to plan small groups effectively without following guided reading. This is going to be a mini series of several videos. I'm going to show you step by step my process for assessment, grouping, and then planning for small groups. The first thing that you need to know is that I do not group my students based on a guided reading level. Using my assessment data, I'm going to group my students based on Aries phases of reading as well as the phonics skills that they have. So typically students in pre-K to kindergarten are pre-alphabetic, kindergarten to first grade, early alphabetic, first grade to third grade, later alphabetic, third grade and up consolidated alphabetic. But of course, these grade levels are not defined. Students can fall anywhere within these phases. In order to group my students, I'm going to give several assessments at the beginning of the school year. These are just some of the assessments. Go ahead and list the assessments that you use in the comments. And you can find most of these types of assessments for free online. So in kindergarten, at the very beginning of the year, I wanna assess letter names, letter sounds, phonemic awareness, name writing, and then depending on the skills my students have, some of them I might want to give a phonics survey. In first grade, I want to give most of the above depending on my students' skills. And then I wanna have them also write the 26 letters, uppercase and lowercase, and I also want to give a spelling inventory. And then for second grade, I also want to give some of the above depending on the skills of my students. I wanna give a phonics survey. I wanna give a spelling inventory. I want to do oral reading fluency with my students. And I also want to give sentence dictation. So my next video is going to be a pre-reader lesson plan, and I'm going to do a lesson plan for each of those reading phases. Put in the comments what type of skills you want to see me plan for.